welcome to episode 48 of the Rigan ID Wedding Show. It's been quite an eventful week, and uh, even though I think we started the week on a bit of a low with all the new regulations and the things, ID specifically is ending it on a high because I still don't think she's come down from last night's high of the picnic and the game drive at Babala. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I am still I am still on a love high. <laughs> so I think if there's one thing that I maybe didn't make clear enough last night, um, is that it's not that much effort to organize. I think a lot of the guys often think, you know, you have to organize it all, buy all the stuff, run around on the day to set it all up, etc. Where if you work with the right people, like what happened yesterday at Babala, it was basically one phone call 10 days ago to organize the day and confirmation yesterday and what time we're going to be there. The rest was all taken care of. I didn't have to drive through early the afternoon to set up the picnic spot and get the snacks and the things to eat and drink. It was all done. So I think it's more back to, to for the guys out there. It's not that difficult. Just phone the right people and they will take care of it. Yeah, and I mean, it wasn't as if um, the moment that we got there that everything was stale or something. It was fresh. It looked as if... It was just set up. Yeah. So, yeah. It was uh, very special. Speak I mean, to the profession. Even for me, who was involved in the organizing, you know, setting it up, I, I was also blown away by what they've yeah, done. Yeah, you also so didn't was, know how no, it was going it, to look. I, I was really, really impressed. So, yeah. if you haven't seen episode 47 yet, definitely go it is, watch it immediately. It is my favorite episode. Well, that's the feedback we've gotten so far today. Quite a few people have said it was their favorite episode so far. Yes. So that's quite for interesting. Sure. <laughs> we just can't do one of them every day. <laughs> yeah, but then it also won't be that yeah, it special. Won't be special so. Yeah. Okay, so other great news that we received is we, we chatted to Gabriel from Gabriel's Jeweler and, oh, yes. and Watches earlier today. And as you will all recall, ever since the episode with, with Gabriel, we have we had we have a nomination bracelet and a link to give away as part of our subscriber giveaway when we get to a thousand subscribers. Now we just received word from them that it will be a link with a bracelet with three links on there, and we that's, just that's, that's huge. amazing. It's an amazing prize, and remember, all you have to do is subscribe. So it's not like you have to do anything else. It's quite a simple and easy and quick one, and we're waiting for images of and details about exactly what it's going to be and we will share that with you as soon as we receive it so that's great news so if you haven't subscribed yet now is the time to do so and when you subscribe please make sure that your subscription is public to us because some people subscribe and, uh, and you can private. yeah privately so we can't see that they subscribe so there's no way that we can put your name into a lucky draw if you are not a public subscriber so just keep that in mind so we want to again thank Gabriel. Yes, definitely. And we're going to link the episode uh, where we chatted to him um, in, in um, the link will be up here. Okay. <laughs> so you so can go watch it if you haven't done that yet. Nomination bracelets. South Africa, yeah. yeah, for that. And then early in the week, you'll recall episode 44, we did the, um, we, we did the boudoir shoot with Mia and we shared a glimpse of what happens behind the scene. So we're not done with the editing yet. We hope to have that as one of the episodes for next week. So that's another reason to subscribe so you don't miss that episode. And then today we thought there was, there's a type of photography that's related to weddings that we haven't touched on yet. And that is something that we like to refer to as shoot the dress. And I remember about 10 years ago, it was quite the craze to do a trash the de dress session. Yeah, that's what they call it overseas. Yeah, um, we, we never really no, we liked never... the trash the dress vibe because some people literally gone as <laughs> far to, to trash the dress and, and to set it on fire and, it and yeah, do all sorts of weird things. So that, that was never our scene, but yeah. we, we refer to our sessions all through the years as a shoot the dress or a cherish yeah. the dress session and i won't even be able to say it cherish, cherish the, the dress, dress. Yeah, I took, you, you talk very carefully now. <laughs> the idea being that uh, often on the wedding day there either isn't enough time or you maybe want to you know shoot at two different locations that's just too far apart to drive yeah. so a easy thing to do is to schedule a shoot the dress session for later there's also something called a next day shoot and that's where couples actually try and streamline their wedding day as much as possible. There's very little photographs taken on a day of a couple alone, mostly focusing on family and then a few photos of them. And then the next day, they get back into their 
wedding attire and you then do a formal couple shoot with them yeah. where there's no limitation in terms of time you don't have guests waiting or standing around um, there's no pressure on you and yeah. I think that's maybe the biggest difference sometimes is, is that whole effect of you 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 want those beautiful images but you don't want to make your guests wait for two hours yes um, so that's a, that's a next a next day shoot which is always an option to discuss if you're doing your wedding yeah, it's, it's almost just like a, a a couple shoot it is the main shoot of but it's the still, wedding day but it's still very close the, to yeah. the wedding day so it's still that same weekend you, you're still keeping that whole vibe and everything you just yeah. you're just streamlining it and you and you're allocating a little bit more time towards the photography but let's get back to the shoot, shoot address. address because that's something that i think a lot of the brides forget about well i i actually think that they don't know or maybe uh, just they, don't they don't know, don't about, know it, yeah. about it um I might be wrong, but there won't be a girl that that gets married that don't want to get into a dress again. It is, I mean, you, you feel like a princess. Um, the day goes by so fast. I mean, everyone says it. It happened to me as well. Yeah. Um, the opportunity to have a chance to, again, get into your dress, get your hair and makeup done. And as Rich said, um, there's no time pressure. pressure. There's no pressure. Um, and you are just... You are the model modeling yeah. your dress. dress. Yeah. We we do have guys that sometimes uh, join the, yes. the shoot. Like for instance with um, Chantal and Rian Robenheimer. When was that? That was one of the first shoots we did in ten, 2010. Ten years roughly ago. about 2010. Yeah. Yeah, one of the first shoot address we did. Yeah. Um, Rian joined and it was a, it was exactly a year after their, um, you, they got married. Um, traditionally, after a year, the... The, the gift is it's paper. paper. Yes, first anniversary. So um, they had a, they had prints done, yeah. and um, that was that was the the ideal. Um, you'll put in some of well, one, maybe one, one of, of those images. In, we we actually old. were were in in the in the rock pools at St Francis Lighthouse, yes. and I was as deep in the water as they were to get those shots. So that yes. was quite an awesome experience, and and I mean that was that was planned. We made sure we get the perfect day in terms yeah. of weather, all Wind. those sort of things, which again, on your wedding day, you can't always plan, can't no matter see. what, there's no way. I mean, if we think about Cara, um, when, when she did the, her real bride feedback, I think it was episode 25 yes. or somewhere around, I'll also put the link to that episode in here. She mentioned, and, and I almost forgot about it, that on the day, as we walked out of the chapel yes. after the ceremony, there was this wind that came through Yerstrafir and it started raining. And I mean, for those people who know Yerstrafir, it's probably one of the most stunning beaches in the Eastern Cape. I know yeah. there's beautiful beaches in the Eastern Cape, but Yerstrafir has just got something magical got about those rough, beaches. Yeah. The roughness. And that, the rocks and everything. Yeah, there was just no way with that wind and rain that we were going down to the beach to go shoot. So we ended up booking a shoot a dress session for them. And I think we went back exactly a month later. Yeah. I think it was the 24th of March or something like mm. that. We went back. The weather was perfect. We got all those shots that she wanted. Yes. And it was still in time that when the album and all those sort of things were prepared, those images could be incorporated into the album. Yes. So that's kind of almost two different types of, of, of cases where you can use it. You can really yeah, do it, it for that thrill of getting back in different. your dress and, and having that experience a year or two years or three years or... 10 years after your, your wedding, or if the weather on the day didn't work out, that's an alternative. I mean, if you hired the clothing, we all know it's, it's, it's expensive, but it's not that expensive to hire it again for a weekend and then book a shoot like that. And that's that shoots that we can do. I mean, you yes. you socially distant far enough from the couple that you can do those you're, sort of shoots. You're given the COVID regulations, yes. we can do the shoots. Yeah. So um, think about it. For the girls that's already married. Yeah, dust off your wedding dress and um, let it shine. <laughs> and and you can even challenge yourself. If you don't fit in it, train. Yeah, and, make it and a month for a two-month challenge. A, make it a, a healthy decision and um, eat healthy and with your partner and... And make it a Go challenge celebrate to, it with a shoot. To, to fit into the yeah. dress and do a celebration, shoot the dress... Um, to celebrate the fact that you can fit into your dress again. I mean, there's nothing that's... <laughs> well, I just... I found my matric farewell dress this week and <laughs> I was very chuffed to fit in that one. Yeah, that's um, well done. I must say, I didn't even know I had it after more than 20 years. Uh, but more yes. Than was it, we married for 20 years, so... Okay, but I said it was more than more, 20 okay. years. Well, we won't go into okay, details. More than I'll ever... <laughs> 
will feel year, years. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's, that's it from our side today. We wanted to just highlight the trash that <clears throat> what a lot of people refer to trash address, we like to refer to as shoot the dress or cherish the dress. And yeah, if you still have your wedding dress or if you think of something like that, get in contact with us. Let's chat about the details and I think it's time for that dress to shine again. For sure. So, Do you want to photograph me in my dress? Well, uh, we, we've How done the, we we've done the do boudoir behind the, sesh, behind the scenes. So maybe going forward... But, well, yes, okay, sorry. We I'm must do a behind the scenes of a shoot dress. I'm not going to go into the water. No, but maybe we'll photograph and we'll get someone else to, to go into the water with yes. their dress. Yeah, with so their dress. keep on watching. We might have a surprise in the next few weeks for you on that. It's weekend, so... It's the weekend, baby! Enjoy the weekend. <laughs> Stay safe. Please remember to subscribe. As you've just heard, the prize is now not just a shoot from me and AD, but also nomination the on the bracelet. nomination bracelet from Gabriel's and uh, nomination from South Africa. So please subscribe. Stay safe over the weekend, and we'll see you guys again on Monday. And have fun. Have fun. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>